Did Google just kill Anthropic's Cloud Code? Well, if they haven't killed it, they certainly have done a quite a bit of damage to it this morning because Google has released its own CLI command line interface tool for coding. And it looks impressive, but what really st stands out to me is not the functionality, but the price. Uh, let's take a quick look at it here. Uh, this is a, a nice little uh, animated a video that Google has provided showing the tool actually being used to generate some uh, images and some videos, which is uh, a fun use case. This gives you an example of what it's going to look like. It looks a lot like Claude Code. You know, notably, one thing that um, Claude Code can't do, as far as I'm aware, is any sort of image generation because that's been a uh, something that Anthropix has decided to not really compete in. Uh, interestingly enough, you, they don't do image generation in their Claude uh, client either. But what really stands out to me is not the way it looks or, you know, the fact it's a command line interface, but rather the price. So let's go ahead and scroll up here in the browser. And here we go. Here is the key line, okay? To ensure you rarely, if ever, hit a limit during this preview, we offer 60 model requests per minute and 1,000 requests per day at no charge. So again, 60 model requests, and this, by the way, is of Gemini 2.5 Pro with 1 million context window, which is arguably, you know, in terms of model quality, at least as good as Anthropic's recent Sonnet 4 Opus 4 models, and has a longer context window. For free, you've got 60 requests per minute, 1,000 requests per day. Okay? So that is uh, that is a bit crazy. And at the same time, it fits with what Google's strategy has been lately. Because in case you're not aware, if you go to Google AI Studio, I keep pounding the table about this. If you go to Google AI Studio, you can get access to Google Gemini 2.5 Pro, 1 million context window, the latest model, to use as a chatbot uh, for all the usual chatbot things and you can get it access to it entirely free virtually unlimited usage and it supports all kinds of uh, other media formats for example something i do is when i finish up one of these videos i put the youtube video url into google ai studios version of gemini 2.5 2.5 pro and just ask it to summarize it and it looks at the entire video it has the context window to do it and to summarize it, and then I can get something that I can post on social media to tease the video. Well, you know, that same sort of huge context window is also going to be very useful if you want to do uh, coding, and particularly if you have any interest in the agentic coding workflows. Now, to be clear, I'm not a professional programmer. I am rather someone who writes about professional programmers. And in fact, just last week, um, well, actually, I think it was less than a week ago, IEEE Spectrum published my article, which I wrote, uh, about the most popular programming tools uh, right now with actual professional, you know, software engineers and developers. I spoke to a couple uh, very experienced developers about both what they were using and what they were hearing other people use. And Claude Code was one of those top tools. And they both were, you know, broadly saying that AI is being used extensively in coding, uh, which is maybe not something you always get the impression about if you watch YouTube. But it seems to be using being used extensively by professional, you know, en engineers and developers to to get work done, you know. And with Gemini 2.5 uh, available through this uh, command line interface, I mean. It's just going to be a, a crazy pressure on a company like Anthropic and really all the other companies in this industry to compete when you've got that much free usage. And also you have Google providing very good rates if you need additional usage. I've heard, you know, with Cloud Code that you can easily get $10, 20 $30 of, um, of usage. Like you can be charged that much per hour if you're using it extensively. And, you know, when you've got this sitting here, you know, being able to handle so much for free, it's just, it's crazy, you know, what Google is doing with the pricing on this. Um, and I want to go back here to uh, the the announcement because I wanted to highlight something else too. Uh, another thing in case you forgot, uh, I know I forgot, Gemini also has Gemini Code Assist uh, for VS Code. 
and apparently it has the same rate limits and you can also use it for free. Uh, so if you are familiar with VS Code, um, when I do my very not professional programming for various hobbyist projects, I usually use VS Code as my preference because the command line interface is a little too confusing for me in most cases. And um, I actually didn't know that they were doing this, so I'm going to have to check that out the next time You know, I've got something I want to work on. Uh, I think I've got to run around here somewhere, uh, a Raspberry Pi. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, this guy. Little weather station that I'm putting together. And uh, AI was very helpful because uh, I had some issues with this particular sensor, which uh, is a BME to uh, 80, but not the model that most of the tutorials seem to include. Uh, so it wasn't uh, really working uh, properly. It wasn't working at all. Uh, but fortunately, you know, with the help of uh, Jim and I, in fact, I was able to quickly diagnose the problem and get a solution, which was just to like use um, to 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 reference the sensor dif differently in the code. But I had no idea how to do that on my own. So just take a little example of how even people who are hobbyists and uh, you know amateurs can get tons of use. And in fact, if you're a hobbyist or an amateur, I mean. Like this is amazing for you, right? Like you can, you're not gonna meet, you're not gonna like exceed the limits that uh, are present with these whatever whatever way you want to access Gemini 2.5 Pro, whether it's through Google AI Studio, whether it's through uh, Gemini Code Assist or the this new command line interface. Like you're you're not gonna exceed those limits, you know. You know it's really a huge threat to Anthropic and to everyone else in the industry. Right now, uh, coding has emerged, emerged as one of the most popular use cases. And to be clear, I really like Anthropic's tools in general. Claude has generally been my chatbot client that I've preferred to use, and I'm still a subscriber there right now. But it's getting harder and harder to justify as Google conducts this like scorched earth price war. So, um, with all that said, you know, the one sort of um, X factor here is that uh, at the end of the day, these particular tools, oh, and by the way, I, I should have mentioned this earlier, the Gemini CLI is open source. So that's pretty awesome. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna like that. But these particular tools have to work well, right? So Gemini CLI just came out. Um, don't know if it's good or bad, you know, because no one's had really a lot of time to use it yet. And that's going to be a big determining factor on just how popular it becomes. So if you're watching this and you're a professional uh, developer or software engineer and you decide to give Gemini CLI a, a whirl, um, I'd very much appreciate a comment and, and let me know what you think about it. Uh, the more that I hear about it, the, the more that I know. And like I said, I do write about this for various publications. Uh, so it's good to have an awareness of what just people in the industry overall are thinking about these uh, command line well, all these coding tools in general, but thinking about Gemini CLI uh, and whether or not it really is the Claude code killer that it looks to be at first glance. That's it for me today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.